Welcome back everyone, today is the 20th of June 2013, and today is episode 6 of ZBrush Rush. As you can see by the sprint, today we're going to do a figure of a man in freezing cold water. Um, I got the idea from this from the Polar Bear Plunge, which is an event held during the winter where participants um, go diving in waters, or swimming in waters below zero, or just freezing. Um, so, well, I didn't sculpt and really know what I was going to be. Again, I started with the Z-Spirit. Here I played the head using the, um, what's the brush called? Oh, the, uh, the, you know, I guess, yeah, the inflate brush. To make it a sphere, just to, you know, have a, a nice base for a head. I didn't go into the sculpt knowing what I wanted to do. I actually just kind of messed around with it for a little bit. From the beginning sculpt here, uh, you can see that the proportion of head to torso is very strange. It's like a huge muscular man. Eventually, I tone it down a little bit. For the sculpt, I used mostly um, what is it called? Clay tube brush. That's about all I used. That smooth and move. And then at the end, I used a lot of uh, trim dynamic brush just to make planes easier to be well, easier, easily or recognizable, I guess I should say. Hmm. Also, I want to apologize for me not being uh, active for a while. I just recently finished um, a bunch of my exams for my summer courses, so I should be out for the next couple months. So I should be able to do a lot more uh, videos for you guys. Right about here, I start, um, actually, yeah, I start getting the idea for the, what the sculpt's gonna be. I guess, uh, looking back now, I got the inspiration from a sculpt that somebody else did called, uh, Cold Swimmer, you can find it on DeviantArt, where it's just a guy getting water and it's like, he's super cold, but his, the guy, it was an amazing sculpt, but it was more of a, uh, cartoonish, or the proportions were really strange, so I wanted to do, like, a more realistic version of that. I'm just sculpting, just trying to build up mass and um, planes with almost all of the clay tubes brush. Because I found it's a it's a good brush to just go in there and sketch out something really fast. It's easy to control. I didn't use much um, reference at all for the sculpt. Uh, well, actually, wait, let me go talk to it about the sculpt a little bit. There, I uh, masked the face and shrinked everything back down so it's more of a. The torso, the shoulder length is more of a 3 head ratio because it was like a 5, which is very muscular, more like cartoonish. Just wanted to make it look a little bit more realistic. But I didn't use uh, any reference at all for this whole sculpt, I just kind of went on memory. I want to do a lot more uh, anatomy studies, so I just wanted to make something quickly where I can have a before and after. I go through an uh, anatomy course just to, you know, see if I progress any or have a good reminder to keep me motivated. As part of the scope, I don't know if I was gonna do the whole body. In fact, I don't actually work in the body for a while. I'm just, you know, I was just going to do another bust or a upper torso head sculpt. But I ended up liking it so much to just go for the whole uh, body sculpt. I said the sculpt tool took me about four or three hours. No, probably like four or five hours just to get the basic shapes. And then going through it at the end with the trim dynamic brush took another hour and a half just to make it all look more finished. I 
think I'm just digging in a hole for where the uh, T should be. I'm going at it for the uh, expression of the stuff that if it's freezing cold water and like his, his feet are in it, he'd be burying his teeth and just trying to prevent it from chattering. He's probably squinting his eyes. next way to figure out especially turn it down. But he should be hunched over because he's trying to hold himself with his, uh, like, heat himself up with his body, I guess. So his shoulders would be a little bit up and his neck muscles, I forgot what they're called, would be more pronounced. I thought I wanted to give him some age and some fat. I just didn't want to make, make like a an athlete model. So I wanted to add some folds where the arms are and where the shoulders and the uh, torso meet. Him's using a trim dynamic brush to quickly get the planes up. So like I said, I use the uh, clay tubes brush to build mass. And then after that, um, I usually divide it and then just smooth it down with the trim dynamic brush so I can still keep the forms without... Because if you use a smooth brush, it's too strong. It would just destroy everything you've worked on. And I feel like it gives more of an uh, organic feel to it. And if you go overboard with the uh, trim dynamic brush, it's going to give it a hard surface look. But just, you know, tone down the... Uh, the intensity of it, and you're gonna work with it. I'm just dividing the neck with the uh, jawline. If it actually had a lot of fun with this uh, model. Looking back, and if I would done, if I'm, I'm planning to do it again at the end of the summer to show like before and after, I want to do the exact same pose to see how far, like, how far I've gotten. Um, but when I do it again, I'm probably going to make the arms a uh, separate step tool or separate uh, poly group so I can sculpt the bottoms of it and the torso with, and then at the end fold them down instead of having it one consecutive piece. But I think it. That helps if you just, if we, when you learn how to sculpt, just to do everything with one sub-tool. So you have to sculpt the interactions between the uh, forms, like the fat that be around your biceps, and your, uh, again, your uh, torso muscles, I don't know, pectoral muscles. You know, they interact with you, because if they're pressing against each other, it's not going to be... Flabby, I guess, I don't know. I actually decided to give him a, uh, a swimmer's cap, which I don't know why it's actually there because he doesn't have any underwear or any uh, swimsuit. But I just decided to give him a uh, swimmer's cap for fun. So throughout the whole mesh, um, or the whole sculpt actually, it's just one big Dynamesh until I start adding uh, the final detail at the very end and I divide it once. I'm just, I'm just quickly uh, sketching out some teeth. Later I realized that the um, actual teeth or the yeah the teeth are way too wide, so I just push them together because 
your mouth should come to the corners of the middle of your uh, your eyes. So right now they're way too far. Well, not the mouth itself, but the teeth. Here is going to the uh, undo history. I was showing somebody I was uh, having a Skype chat with, or no, the Google Hangout. Sorry. Just to demonstrate that I started to fear. I feel like if you start from the sphere, um, you need a lot more freedom with it. Like if you start from a base mesh, it would have to be human or have to be this, but starting from the sphere and doing down a mesh, you have no limits, you have no topology problems. As long as you constantly um, duplicate it, dynamesh it, and then uh, project it. Here I just added a cylinder for the uh, lower torso slash legs, or upper thighs I should say. So I'm just um, using the move tool and some clay builder brush, or uh, sorry, clay toothbrush just to get her off shape before I merge them together here. Two more uh, cylinders for the legs. Just mask out the top and drag it. Here's guys are connected, I could have done one cylinder. But I thought it would be easy just to do two to have, you know, for each leg. It saves some time. Here's the problem with the, uh, if you look at the torso, there's a, there was a hole in the actual mesh itself, so I have to just duplicate it and then re, um, dynamesh it. He's going at it again with the, uh, clay toothbrush, which, Right now, it's probably my favorite brush. Jeez. It also gives you a lot of control. I'm just trying to bend the legs a little bit to look like he's um, balancing himself. Because legs aren't straight. Because if they were straight, you'd, um, people pass out sometimes when they're like, doing the Pledge of Allegiance and stuff and they, if you lock your legs, you uh, cut out oxygen. It's not a regular human position. Working on the plane with the uh, legs. Admittedly, I don't know almost anything about the knee anatomy, so I do a pretty crappy job of it at the end. But again, like I said, I'm going to revisit this exact same pose and model after the summer to see how far I've improved. Here I'm, um, again, I'm just adding cylinders for the, the arms I have. I was debating on what actual pose I wanted to have the arms in. He just decided to have like a, not hugging himself, but kind of trying to endure the bitter cold, or not the bitter cold, but the cold itself. So when you use uh, insert, cylinders, any, any, any insert brush, it actually makes them to step in uh, poly groups, so you can mask out everything else and just manipulate that, but there's still one sub tool. Here I'm using the uh, trim dynamic brush, if you hold down art, alt, sorry, it actually um, help you out a lot if there's like a deep crevice, it out, it'll just smooth everything out for you. It works a lot faster than I just a smooth brush here. Here I just dynamited everything together and we projected from the duplicate give it more of a clean topology and keep the actual uh, clay look of the clay tubes. It's not necessary if I just like it. After we construct the arm here and then move some 
the leaf pad, which is the bulk of the body, so it actually looks like it's um, interacting with the arms itself. Which is a uh, aspect I think I failed at pretty bad at the end, but it can be something that we can hopefully we can look back and laugh at. Uh, just work on the back muscles here. Again, it's the same brush. I'm trying to not make him like super athletic again. Give him a little hunch because he's getting uh, on an age. But work on the, uh, the fat and the skin is obviously covering the muscles. Admittedly, the uh, the butt cheeks are too thin. with the amount of fat he has in his body. Also adding the hands, um, well the, he had the arms and the hands uh, in this early caused a lot of problems later with sculpting the, with finishing sculpting the chest and the back because they're not symmetrical anymore. But I feel like that was a good learning experience. I'm going into the second pass of the head, just working on some, uh, here I used a lot of the trim dynamic, no, this, the Damien standard brush for the creases, and also the slice brush, just to keep myself a nice uh, blueprint when I go in there with the uh, clay tubes brush. And here's where I decided to add a uh, swimmer's cap. If he's, um, if he's baring his teeth and squinting, his eyes wouldn't be open, obviously, so I didn't do that. Which saved me a lot of time, because making the eyelids is quite uh, time-consuming to get right. It's just kind of a practice cult. Humor's adding some variety to the, uh, the cap. Damien sand brush again to make some creases, pulling the alt brush down to pull out, which is the opposite of the actual brush itself, which is to carve stuff in. But again, tell me if you guys want me to change anything about the actual uh, episodes, you want me to make them faster, make just split them up into parts, or just not show mu uh, the same amount, like uh, speed-wise, I should say. Obviously, all commentary is added in post because uh, ZBrush record. I use the ZBrush recording or the ZBrush movie feature, so I can't obviously record audio. And the movies themselves are like 40 gigs, so I don't think you want to sit here and watch four hours or five hours of sculpting. Well, you might, but. I don't have the space on my computer for that. Because if you record it real time, it'd be like a lot longer. A lot bigger file. Kind of being lazy and decided not to add the feet, so I had to like a little cool thing, but you know, eventually just said screw it. Some more wrinkles to the face, or I guess just a skin fold interaction between the gritting his teeth and I guess flexing his uh, or squinting his eyes, which causes his cheeks to make wrinkles everywhere. I don't spend much time on the hands here, just to like an overall basic shape. I revisited them later to do just a quick planar pass or a plane pass with just the, uh, the trim dynamic brush.
again, just the... Uh, that was just me looking at the uh, undo history again. It's, it's the new feature they added, and it's, uh, it's really fun. Also, the uh, the auto save is quite handy. Again, my uh, anatomy of the forearms and legs. So my, my anatomy overall is not amazing, so I kind of just did the basic uh, planes of it in the uh, arm that you saw. And I'm just working on the legs again. Should narrow it down closer to the ankles. If you guys have any questions about uh, approaches to a model or anything like that, just free, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll hopefully get back to you. I, I think I've been pretty good at getting back to people's comments in that day. In a little bit, it uh, it should go. It should. Well, I should um, divide the model and then go through it with another like a cleanup pass with the trim dynamic brush and smooth and a little bit of a clay brush. For that, because it's um, it's kind of repetitive. I actually doubled the speed of it, so it's 120 frames per second. So it shouldn't last as long. For you, at least not for me. It took me a long time. I'm trying to do the relationship between the hands. In the future, I might do like he's pinching his his wrist or his forearm to try to trick himself into thinking about something else besides the bitter cold. But that didn't really come across in the final model. Looks like he's just holding his wrist. Mainly because I didn't think of it until the end. But for next time. Again, I'm using the trim dynamic brush here and with a clay boil brush to just uh, establish the planes and the forms for the legs. Here I'm going over the, this is after I've divided it, I'm just going over the chest again trying to give it more of a final look. Final pass on the head too, just using the Damien Santa brush to dig into the to distinguish the teeth, the teeth from each other by uh, obviously you know digging in between. Sorry I'm not saying much, even though I'm working a lot on the face here. I'm just uh, really just trying to see what the interactions between the skins, the skin folds and the him squinting would be.
inherited some indication of the spine. If he'd be hunting, if he'd be um, hunched over, in his age, you'd see it more pronounced. But I kind of never revisited it again. A lot of trim dynamic brush here, just getting the planes correct. The if you do small strokes of it, eventually you can get a ground surface, which is you know pretty good. <laughs> just trying to make sure that um, you can distinctly tell where the shoulder blades are. Yeah, that's it. Because you'd be trying to uh, squint his face, there'd be less uh, actual mass of the sides of his eyebrows. He'd be pushing them closer towards each other, which again would make that fold by his nose. If he's not like angry, it's a different expression. That's what that, that thunder. So if you heard that. I was gonna add some folds to this hat, or the uh, strange material that a uh, latex, like a swim cap, would be made out of. But I decided not to. This is a quick pass at the ears. Do a pretty crappy job, in my own opinion. Uh, but just quick demonstrate their ears. <laughs> again. again, I want to try to do the whole thing without any reference. So, my ear anatomy is pretty crap. Someone asked me if it's better to constantly use the um, insert ear brush because there is one in this version of Z brush. Um, I mean, you you can do it. Is what I'd said, or what I would say, I guess. But um, you can only handicap yourself in the future if you keep using it. Because a lot of ears, a lot of people. I mean, yeah, you can just place that down and manipulate like other people's ears. But you're only kind of cheating yourself, I feel like. That's why every sculpt I always try to go with a uh, start with a Z sphere. I mean, in actual production, you wouldn't do that because it takes way too long. You'd use the base meshes and pre made males and females. But when you're learning, you help yourself out a lot if you just keep using a Z sphere. And it also doesn't stifle your creativity or your imagination. No, okay, no. Also, sorry if I'm sounding monotone, I just, it's late right now and I just want to quickly do the audio and then upload it, which is shameful, I know. Oh, another brush that I use a lot um, when dealing with the uh, interactions between the masses was the nudge brush, which I added to the bottom of my interface on the left there. It's good for pushing, um, I guess, skin or folds underneath each other. I mean, you, you could just mask one out, but I feel that it's just it's faster and it works just as well. Especially on high um, density ma mesh like this. If you want it to be subtle, if you mask it, it would be like a huge dent. Here you see how crappy I am at uh, the leg anatomy, especially I guess the lower to the knees. Why he's naked? I don't know why he's naked. I just want to do more of a figure sculpt and like any artist when you do like figure drawing or stuff you can't be like oh no he's naked ew I mean that's just immature I'd say And I'm just revisiting it with uh, again the trim, uh, the Damien Sander brush to make the creases, and then add some uh, mass or fat in between with the clay builder brush or the clay brush. But I don't, don't use that much. Is this actually a repeat? Hmm. It is. Give me a second. Sorry about that. 
thought I was actually repeating it, but when I looked at it again, it's not. I'm just me revisiting the same areas. Although I'm getting more and more suspicious. Hmm. Anyway, adding some uh, mass where the uh, bicep would be pushing against the ribs of the torso. Looking back, if he's trying to huddle up his uh, pectoral muscles, or I guess pecs, whatever, the chest muscles of the, would probably be more pronounced and uh, firm than they are now. Even if he's old or oldish. So again, it's going a lot faster, but him is quickly uh, doing planes up. Oh, no, it's definitely repeating. Well, sorry about that. I think some uh, stuff might have been repeating afterward. I'm not sure how that happened. But it's almost over. So this is uh, basically it, um, thanks for watching, place a comment if you have any questions, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, I should be doing one every week, hopefully, um, this is the final turnaround, uh, thanks again for watching. Oh, one more thing before I go. Um, like I said again, this is the model before I do the, the anatomy course I'm going to do for myself. And we'll look at the before and after in um, probably the end of September. Or I guess August, whatever, doesn't matter. So uh, again, thanks for watching, subscribe, and comment.